Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video that I've done in the past that I wanted to share with you because it got really good uh, feedback last time, which was a couple of years ago, but I thought this was the perfect time to update this. So today I'm gonna to be talking about planners that didn't work for me in 2019. So I have three types of planners here that I tried to use this year that just didn't work out as I thought they were going to. Maybe they'll work out in 2020, maybe I'll incorporate them into my planner stack, but in 2019 they just didn't work. So the three planner types that didn't work were the Hobonichi Weeks, the Erin Condren Daily Planner, and a traveler's notebook. So I'm gonna start with the Hobonichi because this one is really popular right now. So this is a Hobonichi Weeks. Um, it's just got a black soft cover. This guy, I ordered this like plastic outer cover. I ordered from Cloth and Paper. And let me show you guys. I did this back in like the spring for a little while. I tried using it, but it just, I didn't like the paper. I my handwriting's big so my handwriting just didn't work well in here because I have such big handwriting and I don't know I just didn't I felt like it was just duplicating what I already was doing in my other planners so it just wasn't good for me I did like the price point though and I liked how easy this is to carry around it's very travel friendly like if you want to bring this on the go with you it's definitely a great everyday carry I will say that but it just didn't fulfill the needs I had this year for planners so my Hobonichi Weeks, I love trying you out, but you didn't work for me in 2019. We'll just move this to the side here. The second planner that didn't work for me was the Erin Condren Daily Petite Planners. So these are kind of like traveler's notebooks, but I'm gonna come back to that in a minute. These are the Erin Condren Daily Planners. So I have the April through June and July through September. Didn't even use these. I didn't open them, I didn't write in them. They're just all blank pages. I have started to try using this again this fall and winter, but again, I feel like it's very duplicative of what I'm using my Erin Condren for. I know a lot of people will keep their details in here and then keep their Erin Condren at like an overview level, but I use my Erin Condren for kind of like everything, so I don't really find the need for that. I don't plan like on a daily basis. I go to work and I go home. I don't have like, I have a pretty busy life, but it's not busy to the point where I feel like I have to write things down on an hourly basis. I've tried that before, hourlies. It depends on, I don't know. So yeah, I tried these out. They didn't really work. Um, I, the other th reason that I didn't think this worked for me is that I have an, a digital calendar for work. So I use Outlook, Microsoft uh, Outlook for my email and my calendar. And I have meetings that change a lot. So I feel like if you're writing that down at the beginning of the day, it would irritate me a lot to have to like change it and strike things out. So again, the Erin Condra Petite Planners just didn't work for me. I know they're really popular in the planner world right now. Maybe I'll try them again in 2019, but in, or in 2020, sorry, but in 2019, these just, they didn't work for me. I think they're beautiful and I think it's an awesome concept. I wish, and I've seen people on Instagram and Facebook doing this, people will go to Staples and they will get these bound with a spiral. I have thought about doing that for 2020 because I'm a spiral girl, that's just what works the best for me, so maybe I'll do that, but for now, they didn't work for me in 2019. And the last planner I'm gonna mention here is a traveler's notebook. So this is the Oholo Stationery Traveler's Notebook. I ordered this cover. I still think it's beautiful. I love the color scheme that I picked, but I just didn't use it that much. So in here right now, there's a monthly planner that is undated by Oholo. There's a weekly in here that I like the concept of this. I just didn't use it that much. And then back here, I think this is just like a, oh, that's where this went, huh? I've been looking for this notebook for a really long time and I just finally found it. I was using this to swatch washi and I think I stopped last winter. So that's what happened to this guy. Okay, well, I can continue working on that. But anyways, I just didn't wind up using this as much as I thought I was going to this year and 
I would consider it again because this is another really great on the go option. I mean, all of these are the Hobonichi, the Petite Planners, this uh, B6 Traveler's Notebook. They are awesome options for on the go, but I just don't feel the need to bring my planner with me everywhere I go. I don't know. That's just me. Do you guys use a planner on the go? Do you use multiple planners in your system? Leave a comment below because I'm like really curious. Um, Traveler's Notebooks are really great because you can use any style insert you want. You can decorate these um, with these dashboards. You can use stickers. You don't have to use stickers. You can you can do a lot of creative things with Traveler's Notebooks. And I see what people do and that's fantastic. And they look beautiful. But I just have never, I don't, I'm not super creative. We'll, we'll put it that way. So I don't ever like have the creative ability to decorate this and make it look Instagram like ready, if you know what I mean. I, my planners are for me and I don't know. I just don't think that things need to be like Instagram perfect all the time, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah, so these are the three planners in 2019 that just didn't work. And I thought it would be interesting to share this with you guys because I've done this video in the past. So let me know if you guys tried any of these planners and they didn't work for you or what other types of planners that you tried that just didn't work for you in 2019. I'd be really curious to find out what was the case for other people in the planner world. So if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a giant thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and I will see you all in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.